All right, here we are in the lower extremity once again, and we're going to be describing now the gluteal region uh, in terms of muscle compartments. So this is the gluteal regions. We're going to talk about actually nine muscles. Now, don't be intimidated. I know nine muscles may sound a little bit uh, intense, but it's not. Uh, once you kind of get this down, you'll be fine. So let's first take a look at the first and most famous one. This is called the gluteus maximus muscle. Incredibly powerful hip extensor. So. You'll find that the gluteus maximus muscle just kind of comes across here, uh, but in the same sense, we get a second muscle with the same with the same first name. This is called the gluteus medius. Now, notice you can still see medius even when I uh, even without taking off maximus. So, if I take off maximus, you'll be able to see a much larger. Uh, Mount of the medius. Now, this is not necessarily a hip extensor as much as a hip abductor. Uh, that's why when you rollerblade, you actually use these guys better. But you could actually feel them on the sides of your body rather than grabbing onto your buns here. So that's gluteus maximus, and then here's gluteus medius. And there is a muscle that cannot be shown or is not shown here. Uh, if I were to strip away gluteus medius, you'll find a much smaller version of it directly underneath it called the gluteus minimus. So three gluteus muscles, maximus, medius, and minimus. And then the rest of them become these lateral rotators of the hip. You'll find, uh, here's the pure, this is what we call the piriformis muscle, a good abductor of the, of the hip, or at least initiates abduction. And then here is the sciatic nerve. So I always remember piriformis typically, unless it's a pathological condition, sciatic nerves typically comes out underneath the piriformis. But the other ones become the superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, and then quadratus femoris. Notice again, we use that term quadratus for four-sided, and then we use the, the term femoris because it's found in the femur region rather than in the lumborum or in the wherever you're gonna find other quadratus like pronator quadratus or other things like that. There's another muscle that tends to kind of get clomped in there. Sometimes it's called in the medial compartment of the thigh, but that's, uh, so here's obturator internus. There's obturator externus, functionally speaking, on the other side, would sometimes be called in this compartment, but we will relegate that to just R's here that we need to know. You're like, well, that's eight. Gluteus maximus, medius minimus, piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, and quadratus femoris. As you see, obturator internus comes from covering over the obturator foramen uh, here. So pretty much by now, this is essentially just a tendon. I wish they kind of colored it so much so that kind of half of it over here would be kind of colored tendon, but that's all right. Still pretty anatomically correct. You're like, well, that's still eight. Tell me the ninth. Well, the ninth is probably one of my, a lot of people's favorite term because it a, has an interesting name. It's actually found uh, on the anterior side, but because of innervation, it's clomped in with this gluteal region. This is the tensor fascia latte. Notice how it comes from ASIS and then goes right into the iliotibial tract, which is a thickening of the fascia latte. So when I contract it, I tense the fascia latte. So some people would say, well, when I drop fa when I drop a latte on my fascia, I tense it. Um, you can say that too, or it does sound like a drink. So tensor fascia latte. So that's nine altogether. A nice acronym that some people have used is to kind of say uh, different things to just try to get acronyms. But one that I heard in school before, I'm not sure how uh, appropriate it is, but the one that I remember is gimpy people shout out, I quit. Ta-da, something like that. But it goes gimpy, G, so you get gluteus maximus, medius and minimus, people, piriformis, shout, superior gemellus, out, obturator internus, I, inferior gemellus, and Q, quit, quadratus femoris. And then, ta-da, tensor fascia latte. You'll find that, let's just review for the last ones again, and then we get all nine of them. Again, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, Underneath gluteus medius, we can't see it, is gluteus minimus, piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, quadratus femoris, and then tensor fasciolate. Tensor fasciolate.